Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip, and the weather. I'm Eliza. And I'm Lara. Our first story... Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is Huffin and Puffin after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his, cli and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Violet for more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr Wolf, you've been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusa accusations? I feel like it's very unfair because I didn't do it on purpose. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who's the big bad wolf really? Well there's no really big bad wolf. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? Um, it's not my fault that I was born with hay fever. Well thank you for your th thoughts Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for kid, now for the news of kid, now for the now escape kidnapped here is Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They've spoken out for the first time about the ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs: The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Jordan was at the first book release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, my name is Jordan, and today with me I have Hansel and Gretel. You guys are obviously very rich now after having, finding all the hidden gems and jewels from the old witch's house. What do you plan on doing with all that money? Spending it on lollies and pies. Probably online shopping. Hansel, you're in, back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How'd you do it? Jenny Craig. Okay, last question for today. Um, uh, what are you... What did you guys learn from your experience? Oh. I learned to not go into old ladies' houses. I learned how to cook old ladies. Well, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, good luck with your ongoing recovery and back to you at the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter Manvi. Thanks Eliza and hello everyone. I'm Manvi here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast and hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? Um, he does not do the dishes, he le leaves them dirty, and he doesn't do anything. It's not my fault, I don't like doing chores. Okay, so you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What is the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? It sucks. It's terrible because he doesn't want to do anything. He literally just sits down on his butt and does nothing. Okay, your recent Do It album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What next for you to love birds? I think we're starting a library. Uh, yes, we are starting a library because you have nothing better. Find them. Okay, thanks for your time Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks Mumby. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Serena and Isla. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul for, for, for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there'll be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week, with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned to snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it'll be fee fi fo freezing Trolls living under the bridge in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will, heavy rain will be flooding, will, heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise it's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back, Back to, to the news, news desk. desk.
Thanks, Serena and Isla. Finally tonight, long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hairdryer. The result was a haircut so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's reporter Peter for more. Thank you. I'm outside court where the first day of the lawsuit has just finished. And here comes the princess Rapunzel and her stylist now. How did you react when you saw what happened to your hair? When I looked in the mirror and saw how ugly my hair was, I started to bore my eyes out. My hair is my most prized possession. What do you have to say to the owner of the Sleeping Beauty Salon who ruined your hair career and your reputation? You have ruined my life, which is my hair, and now it's all gone and wasted. What are you going to do about your hair? Can it be fixed? I'm going to shave it off and become a bald icon. Well, thank you for your time, Rapunzel. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight, although we've just had a word that the Big Bad Wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good, Good night! night.